babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It is my first time actually filming in the daytime in this room, so I'm actually really digging the lighting. It looks so crisp and clear. I really need to film during the daytime a little bit more because I tend to film late at night and then having to use artificial lighting, which never looks as good as daylight. Anyway, I have my cup of coffee here because it is still early in the afternoon and I need a little bit of a caffeine boost. I don't know what it is. I woke up feeling a little groggy today. Also, this hoodie is not the vibe. I wanna take this off, but it is also freezing. So I'm just gonna keep it on. Maybe once it gets a little bit warmer, I'll just take it off because I do really like this turtleneck by itself and that is much more aesthetic than having this hoodie over it. I just wanted to make this quick little video. Hopefully it'll be quick, but you know how I get. I do tend to ramble a lot, so sorry about that. I'll try to get better. I do get quite a few questions about my day-to-day, -day, everyday jewelry from you guys, either on my comments in the YouTube videos or in my Instagram. So I just wanted to make this updated video on all of my jewelry that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. These are basically pieces that I never take off. I just wear every single day. I wear it into the shower. My rings, I'll take it off for showering and stuff like that for my own comfort, but my necklace, I never take it off. I typically keep all of my rings on, my bracelets I never take off. So those types of pieces that I wear 24 seven, I wanted to show you guys compiled in this video. I'll also make sure to link everything in the description below, just in case you guys are curious and wanted to see it on their website for reference. The website will definitely be a better reference point for dimensions of everything, the materials and all those types of details. So I'll go ahead and link everything below. Throughout the video for every single piece, I'll also include a close up footage so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about and how it looks really up close because I know from a distance it doesn't do it justice. First and foremost, let's talk about my necklace because that is the only thing that's changed, I think, from my previous like everyday jewelry video, but most of the jewelry pieces should remain the same aside from my necklace situation. I used to wear two necklaces at all times. One was from a jury and it was my little uh, single diamond necklace. It's super dainty and minimal. I used to love that so, so much. I still do. I still own it. It's just in my jewelry box. The only reason why I took that off and I'm now just wearing one necklace is just because it kept on getting tangled upon each other when I wore two necklaces with a very thin chain. I dealt with that situation for about one to two years because I loved the way that it looked. I got questions on them all the time, but I decided to finally take it off and replace it with something that is a little bit chunkier in addition to the necklace that I'm wearing right now. And I am planning on purchasing my second necklace that I don't have yet, the chunkier chain from Majuri because I really do love my Majuri pieces. I also love Kin Studio, which this one is from Kin Studio, which I'll get into next. But I do have that on my wish list to buy this year. It's the Serpentine chain necklace and it's just stunning. I love the look of it. It looks super shiny and I'm a huge solid gold type of jewelry person. All of my everyday jewelry that I basically never take off are solid gold because I do not like tarnishing. Uh, no one likes tarnished jewelry, right? I want it to last forever with the understanding that they are more expensive, but it's definitely an investment. They will last you a lifetime and more. I feel like I can really pass down all of my jewelry to a future child if I wanted to have children. <laughs> That's for a different topic. Anyway, <laughs> that said, I am a huge advocate for investing in your jewelry. I'd rather pay a little bit more money up front in order to have jewelry that's going to be sustainable and long lasting. The future plan is to buy that serpentine chain link necklace from Majuri and put it with my Kin Studios necklace, which I have on my neck right now. This one is such a special piece to me because it actually says my Korean name phonetically spelled I'm sorry, I got that wrong. My American name, Amy, phonetically spelled in Korean. So it says Amy in Korean characters. I'll obviously put close-up shots 
on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like. It's just so, so delicate and I love the look of it. Everyone asks me what it says in person. I am a proud Korean American and I just love having a piece of that expressed in jewelry. This is the only jewelry piece that I've ever tried from Kin Studios and I am very, very impressed. I think the quality is on par with Majuri, but it does have a higher price tag than Majuri. They have very different styles in my opinion. Opinion. I think Kin Studios does like more like heirloom-esque vintage inspired jewelry pieces really well. Majuri, I usually go more for like the modern minimalistic styles. I love both brands for different purposes, but this one is by Kin Studio and I love the fact that they had something like this available, like a nameplate customized necklace. So I was really excited when I saw this on Instagram. Like I say all the time, Instagram targets me like I'm the biggest bullseye ever. So <laughs> they succeeded again and I'm not mad about it because I am obsessed with this necklace. I wear it every, if, like every single day. I basically never take it off unless I have to. I've yanked on this before and it's still intact and I've done no damage to it, which is awesome because I'm very rough with my jewelry, which is the reason why I always like to invest more money in them so that I know I'm getting the top quality that I need for my rough, I don't know, actions and I just fiddle with it a lot. This necklace is also adjustable, which I like. I believe it has enough notches for you to adjust it from like 15 to 17 or 16 to 18 inches long. The time that it took from me purchasing it to delivery took a little bit longer than I expected, not gonna lie, but it was all worth it. I think in total, it might've taken like three to four weeks. Let's move on to rings and then we'll do bracelets and then my earrings last. For my fingers, I am currently keeping it pretty simple. I just have rings on my ring finger on both hands. Oh my gosh, my engagement ring is so dirty. It's kind of embarrassing. Embarrassing. So try to ignore that. I really need to give all of my jewelry pieces a good cleaning. But on my left ring finger, obviously I have my engagement ring, my wedding band, and then I actually have another like stacking band from Majuri. Let's talk about that one first because this piece, I think it makes a huge difference of how the stacking aesthetic looks like on my ring finger. I also feel like this type of style makes my engagement ring look really nice and pretty because it just kind of gives the focus to the rock, you know? But the one that I have from Majuri is this stacking ring. I think it's called the Bold Stacker. I am not 100% sure, but I'll go ahead and link it. It's super simple. It's 14K solid gold, but I do want to replace this with something else that is 18K solid gold instead of 14K because my engagement ring and my wedding band is 18K, which gives it a little bit of a richer yellower gold color instead of the 14K gold is a little bit on the lighter gold color, if that makes any sense. You really can't tell when they are all stacked together. You can't tell the difference between the colors, but I can because I'm looking at them obviously every day and I want to make sure that all the colors are the same. I'm kind of OCD in that sense, self-diagnosed OCD. But yeah, so this one, I have it on the very tippy top. My engagement ring and my wedding band are both from David Yurman. I don't know why that was so hard for me to remember. So this is basically what the stack looks like on. Also, I did my nails recently. It's so cute with the little hearts for Valentine's Day. This top piece is from Majuri. So this one right here. And then both of these are from David Yerman. And my engagement ring is just a classic round shape with uh, what is that called? A halo. And then my wedding band is a very simple kind of like diamond uh, wedding band. And then on the other side, it's just solid gold. On my right hand, I only have one ring and this is also from David Yurman. You did I say that weird? <laughs> David Yurman. This one I got for like a Christmas gift two years ago or something like that. And it is a, I don't even know how to describe this style, but it's very, very cute. It's a little bit chunkier. It has diamonds kind of like in this braided format. Those are all of my rings. And then let's go ahead and move on to my bracelets. I wear two bracelets every day and they are both on my right arm. I don't have anything on my left arm and it's because I usually wear my Apple watch on my left 
arm whenever I work out. So I keep all of my bracelets that I wear 24 seven on my right arm, which can be a little bit annoying because I use my right hand for everything and it does get a lot of abuse because I whack my arm on furniture and on things that I shouldn't with my precious cargo, but <laughs> it is what it is. I'm like I said, I'm pretty rough with my jewelry. However, despite the abuse, they look almost brand new like they really have gotten no damage like no dings not that i can tell because of the style of these hide those types of imperfections really well the first one that i have right here this is going to be my be my tiffany t diamond wire bracelet i got this for myself for my 29th birthday last year i believe and i unboxed it in and everything on instagram and on youtube shorts i'm literally obsessed with this this was like by far my favorite like jewelry purchase that I've ever made in my life. It's just so, so stunning and beautiful. It's right here and it's very flexible and it just has like diamonds on the T part of these. The diamonds are so sparkly and in certain lighting, it just looks even more bright and gorgeous. It's also very, very comfortable. It comes in, I believe, two or three sizes and I believe I have the smallest one. I do have really small wrists, so I think I got the smallest size, but I went in the store to try on all the different sizes and then I bought it from the sales associate there who was so, so nice. She showed me a bunch of different pieces like even the matching ring, which I do have on my wish list now. The next Next bracelet I have on my arm is the Pandora, just like snake chain bracelet. It looks like this. It does have that typical Pandora clasp, which I'm a huge fan of. It is so sturdy, you guys. I've had this for years now. I think about four years. I bought it when I went on a trip to Australia because it was a lot cheaper to buy this in Australia. This is like a true warrior. It has gone through so much with me. I've dinged it so many times and it's still going so strong. It's very thick and the material is just so high quality. I love stacking these two together. I think it looks really nice very comfortable and yeah, I love it. I think it just looks so cute together like this. I would like one day to have another bracelet on this arm that's more dainty so that it kind of balances out these two because these two are a little bit more, I don't know, statement. I would like a simple chain or something like that to add to this arm stack, which I'm excited for in the future. <laughs> Let's move on to my ears. I have three earrings on each ear. They're pretty similar because I have two pairs that are the same and then the cuffs are different on each ear. But let me go ahead and talk about the cuffs first because those are really fun. I didn't have to get another piercing to put them on and these don't fall off my ear at all. Like I clamped it pretty tight so that it doesn't fall off when I'm washing my hair and things in the shower. And I've never had issues with them. They don't irritate my ears or anything. It stays on. They're comfortable when I sleep on my pillow on the side. I'm a huge side sleeper. so they they never bother my ears. The ear cuff on my left ear is a little bit more bolder. It's kind of like a band style. It's very simple. It doesn't have any thing on it. It's just a solid gold band. I love pieces like this because I think it makes the ear stacks very interesting. And because I do have diamonds on my other earrings, I wanted to keep this one a little bit more simpler. This ear cuff is from Ring Concierge and they usually run some really great sales throughout the year. So definitely wait for like a 20% off or something because I believe I got 20% off of this during Black Friday. That's why I bought them. On my other ear, this cuff is a little bit different and it's also from Ring Concierge as well. It's solid 14K gold and it has diamonds all around it. So this one provides a little bit more sparkle, but I like the fact that it's really thin. Like I said, it also stays on. I don't ever have to worry about it coming off like during the shower or anything, but I do clamp it shut pretty tight, I guess. Not to the point where it hurts, obviously. It's very comfortable, but so that it doesn't fall off when I accidentally touch it or hit it or something. Let's talk about the other two earrings. They are matching, so it's the same on both ear. The one on my second piercing, like, right here, not the main hole, but the second one up above. This one, I just have a very, very simple small diamond stud. 
and these are from Majuri. Like I said a million times already, I love Majuri gold pieces because they are very high quality. I also love how the backing of Majuri pieces are very secure and tight. I don't have to worry about accidentally losing my diamond studs. Last but not least, the earrings that I have on my main ear hole, which is more of like a huggy. This one is from Ring Concierge as well. I love that brand. It's so good. This is very reminiscent and similar to the one that Majuri sells, but it's a little bit less money, I believe. The price tag is a little bit better, but it was also a lot better because I bought them for 20% off. And these are real diamonds, just like the Majuri ones, and it's 14K solid gold. So I never take these off. These are, unless I want to take it off to wear like a more statement earring <laughs> for the outfit, but this is what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't take them off unless I am dressing up for something else. They are just so, so cute and they're the perfect huggy size. It's not so, so big where I can't sleep with them on, but it's not so small that it doesn't look like I have earrings on, if that makes sense. I feel really naked without my jewelry now because I always wear them. I just think it's an easy, effortless way to elevate your look and outfits. I do feel a little bit weird without my second necklace here, so I think I might have to just buy it at some point sooner rather than later because it does look, I don't know, I want another necklace. <laughs> I love how I didn't even take off my hoodie. It's still cold guys, okay? And that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of my jewelry pieces, definitely let me know in the comments. Also, I'm curious, let me know in the comments which category of jewelry you like the most. Like, are they rings? Are they necklaces, bracelets, anklets? Yeah, let me know because I'm curious what other people usually gravitate towards. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to stick around, and I'll talk to you guys in the comments.